Now changing oil on a late model Audi is not as simple as you may think it to be. Well this certainly doesn't work. There are no jacking points anywhere on the front of this vehicle. This is the only location to jack up the vehicle from, the pinch welds. If you look anywhere else, you either have plastics or just areas where you cannot lift the vehicle from. Now even if we get the vehicle up in the air, there's not enough room for me to place my jack stand at this point. So, Now the main thing here, make sure you leave enough room to fit the jack stand. Old school, but it works, it works. Highly recommended you purchase these jacking pads. I'll have a link for these in the description box below, but they fit perfect inside the pinch welds. So now we have both wheels off the ground safely on jack stands. Let's drain the fluid. Hold on. Another problem, or I should say, not a problem, but something else to contend with. The plastic noise cancellation trays. This has to be dropped in order to drain the fluid. Now, another reason why you never, ever go to a quick loop location, these fasteners are incredibly expensive, and I guarantee you, they will not replace every single one. Do not lose these. And let me give you a perfect example. Toward the rear of the tray, I have one type of fastener. One is missing. The last one completely different. These are captive. In other words, when you loosen these, it stays with the belly pan. And over the years, people don't know this, and now these really need to be replaced. This slides out and drops. So right here is our oil pan. This is the oil level sensor. It's also a temperature sensor. So with these vehicles from the factory, they do not come with a traditional dipstick. You check the oil level from inside the cabin. I don't like it for a thousand reasons, but that's just the way it is. So if you do ever need to replace this sensor, it's right here easy enough. This is the oil cooler and right here is the drain plug. Now before we drain the fluid, I want to allow some air into the system. The vehicle is slightly warm, so the oil will flow a little bit better. The other thing to keep in mind regarding Audis and many modern vehicles, they do not use what I would call a traditional oil filter. In other words, you may be used to something like this and you have an adapter and you remove it from the vehicle. Completely different here. Inside this location is a cartridge. You'll see this better when I do the oil change. Okay, now to remove this, you'll need a 36 millimeter socket, an adapter. You can buy them specifically for these vehicles. Now, if you do not have this and you do not want to buy one, visit your local parts store. Chances are you can rent this for free. These are typically the same size for many, many axle nuts. Okay, and this oil is disgusting. When I purchased the vehicle, the uh, seller said, oh, I just changed the oil. And of course, he reset the reminder inside the cabin, but this oil is certainly old. So let's remove the old filter. Yeah, this thing is really dirty. Oh, gosh. Now, if you look inside here, there's a tab right here not sure if the camera will pick this up but right here there's a tab this is the old gasket that you just need to pull out so right here i have the brand new filter drain plug and the washer that goes with this plug i purchased the entire kit along with seven liters of oil from ecs i'll have a link below if you want to check that out here's the new filter and the new gaskets this is clean engine oil, 
Just lube this up a little bit. Make sure that the tab is facing up and install the new gasket. Now you have one more gasket that lives inside the housing. Use a pick and remove it. New gasket and some fresh oil. New filter, snap it in place, and that's it. This is our new drain plug and drain washer. So now we're going to add fresh oil. Unfortunately, again, this takes a little bit longer because these modern vehicles, they do not have a dipstick. For this vehicle, I can purchase one, but it's close to 50 to $60. So we have to use the vehicle's computer. The capacity for this engine is 6.8 liters. I'll add six and a half, start the vehicle, check for leaks, check the level inside the uh, cabin, and then we can top it off. Don't forget to reinstall the oil filler cap. I'm now going to lower the vehicle and let's check for leaks. And just let it warm up. And as the car is warming up, I'm just checking for leaks. So far, so good. So we're back in the vehicle. It's been a good eight, nine minutes or so. I let the vehicle warm up. This system states you have to let the vehicle warm up, turn it off, and let it sit for two minutes. So let's take a look. Oil level. The engine must be warm to obtain an exact measurement. So maybe I have to warm it up a little bit more, you know, halfway on that gauge cluster. So I, I'll do that later. I'll take it for a drive. But everything is in good shape. The point here, it's not as quick as it used to be, certainly when I was growing up. This is a lot more involved. But I sincerely hope this is uh, enjoyable. You guys can learn something. And uh, I'll see you next time.